I'm with Mike Leahy, director of Chow, and we're at Chow headquarters. What do you call this? It's the Chow Warehouse. The Chow Warehouse. Yeah. Now, what, Mike, thanks for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Um, what, is, uh, what is Chow? Chow is a community hunger outreach warehouse, and basically we're a program that uh, collects food from the community, and we distribute it to 62 emergency food programs. We have 32 pantries and 30 meal sites located in Broome County. Wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So this is where it's all happening though, like the, the food comes here first and yep. then they have distribution, uh, goes out to different parts of the county. Now where does like a, I, I just saw a, a station wagon leave here, packed full of stuff now, where is that going? That's going to one of our programs in Shenango Valley. So okay. our, we deliver to our pantries and then our meal sites, We uh, they come here to pick up. Okay. So Chow is actually two programs. Uh, you think of Chow with the barrels and the, the non-perishable food drives, you, right. all the wise markets and everything sure. have the barrels. Right. But uh, our larger program is actually Broom, Broom Bounty, and it's a, a food recovery program. And we're always going to supermarkets, warehouses, and we're collecting food that's at the end of its use time, and we're able to distribute it to meal sites so that people are able to make meals out of it. Last year, we distributed about uh, a million meals. Winter is always one of the toughest times for us uh, serving the people that we serve. Uh, we're just coming off of a long school break. We have heating bills that are coming in for a lot of our clients. So for people that live in poverty, uh, it's a high demand time for Chow. Uh, so this is a great time, you know, if someone was interested in doing a food drive at their business or, oh. you know, local people, local organizations, we always need a lot of food during this time. Uh, January, now, February are some of our, our When I was times. talking to you earlier, you were talking about uh, I, I heard you talking on the phone about different farms and yeah. their participation in sure. that. How does that work? Sure. So we actually have a farm. We have the Chow have Farm down in Conklin. Yeah, it's on some reclaimed land. Uh, some some of the houses that were uh, yeah. flooded, the, they leveled that area out. And we have about an acre out there that we grow food using all volunteers. Uh, so we're always looking for volunteers oh, to help us would out. Be good. Yeah. And we distribute about 7,000 pounds of fresh produce out of that project every year. So if someone wants to volunteer for, you know, having a drive or if they want to be able to volunteer on a farm or sure. whatever, sure. what do they do? They could call me at 724-9130 over at the Council of Churches and ask for Mike Leahy, leave a message and I'll get back to them. Uh, we rely on volunteer hours. Uh, people last year donated about 25,000 hours and it really allowed us to make the difference in the community that we wow. make each year. So we're, we're reliant on, we're heavily reliant on volunteers. Okay. Now I want to ask one more thing. Sure. And this is about Chow. Sure. But I'm very impressed by your family. You also have a brother that uh, yeah. is in the same type of service. He, he runs the Keith. Uh, yeah. Lay, he runs the, uh, the Mental Health Association, Absolutely. Isn't that right? Yeah, so. yeah. We both kind of help, uh, dedicated our lives to helping yeah, our community. Yeah, I think so. that's great. It's yeah. like a good, nice legacy for your family. So. Yeah, yeah, he does a yeah. good job over there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice. It really is. We're, yeah. we're very lucky. We're able to serve yeah. the community in meaningful ways. Well, we're lucky to have you guys in our community. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Yeah, have a great day.